All right, people, welcome back to some more Vimin Y. So, uh, we got this opponent here who clearly speaks Spanish, but I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but I took uh, three years of Spanish in high school, so I'm gonna go ahead and translate for you. So it says, Quiero jugar contra un deck performer, pal. So it says, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Daniel, and I just wanted you guys to know that the league will be starting up on the 1st, uh, so make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, get ready. Uh, also, uh... Performer pal. There you go. I, I translated it for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, let's actually, uh, let's actually do So, welcome back. For more vitamin Y, or vitamin, or however you say it. What is vitamin in Spanish? I mean, I mean, I, I, of course I know, because like I said, I took three years of Spanish in high school. I know, I'm just asking you guys, uh, because, uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm testing you guys, I'm testing you guys in your Spanish speaking skill. <sighs> Are you guys believing this lie? Ew, this hand is fucking trash. Okay. Go look, have fun, and immediately quit. Like, nigga, my hand is fucking garbage, so I don't even know why you're quitting. Like, right. ugh, hello? <laughs> hello? George Lucas, that, I guess, that's, uh, Cosmos? Wait, George Lucas didn't direct Wizard of Oz? I mean, I, the Star Wars part, sure, but... Wizard of Oz? Hmm. Unless I'm completely wrong, and I don't know my movies. Ah, all right. So hopefully we get a better hand, much better hand, because that that was that was that was a garbage ass hand. All right, yeah. Go ahead and say you too. No, this hand's still pretty bad. <laughs> like, um, I'm I'm playing I'm playing Yang Zings, right? I could have swore I was playing Yang Zings. Yeah, I am. Then you know, where are my Yang Zings? Where are my Yang Zing homies at? All right, go ahead and grab that Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight can at least still send me meat. Send me that you bell. Oh, this video is like super late. Like, it pro I'm not sure if it'll be late for you guys, but I'm recording it super late. Like, it's supposed to go up at 12. It's 11. So, I got an hour to record, render, upload. I should be able to make it a time. An hour? Yeah. An hour? Yeah. I'll probably shoot for like 15, 20 minutes in this video and uh, upload it for you guys. Simple as that. And then. Probably go ahead and get started on Friday's videos. Uh, I don't like I don't like being behind. I don't like being behind. Definitely not. All right, opponents gonna go ahead and set some back row here. A lot of back row. All right. You, know, well, you need a monster to back up that back row. You can't just set for back row. It's not that simple. You got you got to back it up. Okay. Still don't like that card. You know, I'm still debating on whether I want to play it in my, uh, my Tower Turbo. Because you're supposed to run it because, you know, you want to draw into that additional Tower Turbo. And why do you care if your opponent has an additional card when you already dropped towers on the field? But what I fucking hate is that you never let your opponent draw. Like, I, I, I'm straight up breaking that rule and it, it heartbreaks me. I'm like, ugh, ugh, I'm letting my opponent draw. So, nah, I'm just not sure how I feel about that card right now. Go ahead, can't do any damage to you, of course. Like, yeah, go ahead and uh, let your opponent draw a card so you don't take any damage this upcoming turn. It's like, hmm. I have no idea what my opponent is using right now, but with all this background, I mean, I'm not liking it. I am not liking it. <laughs> like, hello? Like, you guys, you guys saw my uh, you guys saw my top five. If you haven't saw my top five, you might want to go check out my top five. But you guys saw my freaking top five. I don't think I can go into you. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to say, I don't think I can go into you. I can go into you, though. Nice powerful build that's unaffected by trap cards, like no problem. My top five favorite spell cards. You guys know how much I hate back row. I'm gonna go ahead and flip summon. No, I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon. Normal summon. Okay. So you know that we're gonna go into that powerful build. Flip summon. Synchro shotgun. So one main phase one, of course. Let's go ahead and See? Your opponent cannot declare attacks. During each of your phase, you must pay a thousand life points to destroy this card. Hmm. This screen. Destroy this card. You can target one level one turn and you're very much destroy this card if you do so. Uh, am I. When it comes to, like, shit that makes me unaffected by your shit, hmm, I should look that up. I should look that up. Right back.
All right. Thank you, people. Thank you. Thank you, opponent. Thank you, uh, giant. I can still attack good, because I don't like that. Oh, okay. He's just going to play Rising Air. That's fine. Go ahead. So, clearly he's playing some kind of Jack Red Archery deck, because, you know, Archery's got some new support. Yeah, I know they got this card, though. You know, the Resonators, of course. But still, nice and powerful. And so, he must pay the thousand. That is not optional. Alright, well... I can go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted, summon Armageddon Knight, and then summon... No, wait, that's not gonna work. I was like, oh yeah, and sync with Bigfoot. Like, neither of them are Kimmy's, then. They're like, yeah, I know. That was bad on my part. I forgot. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and set this. Yeah, he can't be normal summon, but he can still be flipped, so. So I'll go ahead and set him, and then if he doesn't die, then I'll flip him up and, you know, use him accordingly. Like he does, but definitely doesn't want to turn Dark Resonator to attack mode. He wants to stay on the defensive, definitely. Alright, so. I'm gonna go ahead and flip summon. Then. Normal summon. Then. Sink. Into the powerful Goyo Guardian. Who's unaffected by traps. Just keep on making shit that's unaffected by traps. <laughs> Beals attack. Quail attack. Then I'll go ahead and get the effect and whip that Dark Resonator over to my side of the field. Maybe I'll go and then next turn I can go <laughs> summon another Pixie. All the Pixies that get my shit all unaffected by trap cards. Also unaffected. Fixie. All my monsters are affected by chat style. I'm gonna go ahead and take your resonator. And then next time some Vixie again. <laughs> Sink and Terramedes is unaffected by traps. Like, fucky macro. <laughs> Goyo, Beals. I got some powerful fucking shit right now. You just, you, you're stalling. You're going too slow. You gotta go fast like Sanic. Speaking of Sanic, have you, are you, are you guys, tell me, are you guys subscribed, subscribed to freaking Game Grumps? They are playing my fucking favorite Sonic game, Sonic Adventure. And they are and they are sucking ass at the game, and then talking shit about the game. Like, you, uh, if you guys are Sonic fans, you want to see, you want to hear some fucking blasphemy. You guys, your ears are gonna bleed. They said the Sonic Adventure is worse than both Sonic Boom, the new one, and Sonic 06. Like, murder yourselves, Game Grumps. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Game Grumps. I, I, I like the, I like the content. Generally, they're pretty funny. But you can't be doing that to me. You can't be messing, with, playing with my emotions like that. Makes me sick to my stomach. Makes me sick to my stomach. Just the idea of them fucking saying that fucking Sonic. I, 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 it's not, it hasn't grazed, uh, a grazed, aged the most gracefully, but it's still a really great game. And for them to just, you know, spit on one of my favorite games like that, it's just like, oh my god, kill yourself. So all three Bixies. Bixie putting in that work in this duel, clearly. So what do you do? Okay, if you control the level hardian, that's not And what you said, during either player's turn, you can send this card and have them target you. I don't think you can do that, but okay. Because during either player's turn, you can send this card and have them target you. You can control, cannot destroy that. All you can, you can play, you can play barrier. Barrier can be played during damage step. Uh, I was about to say, John's about to tell me, like, yeah, you know you can't do that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't do that. Can't do that. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 we can't. 
No, they can't. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I'm watching you. <laughs> no, it can't. <laughs> it has nothing to do with affecting it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Because it doesn't affect attack or defense. Attack or defense like cards during damage step during uh during damage step and is not a count trap. But it's fine. It's fine. So just straight up this turn the target one level two, level one turn this turn it can't be destroyed at all, so you take no value. So, okay, that's fine. I said, I don't even care. I don't even care. You're going to die eventually, so. Look, I'm not even afraid. Is it unaffected by trap cards, period? Or? Six hundred, six hundred. It's unaffected by trap cards. So, straight up, I could torrential his ass, and my shit would stay. I have, I have my turn Regeki. I have Regeki. I have Torrental. I have Soul Charge. Like, I don't think you're going to be surviving this duel. Like, I just, I don't, I don't care enough to explain damage that to you. I just don't. Let's <laughs> say, so just in case you have another one, just so you know, you can't play it when I attack with my mates. Dude, you're getting fucked up. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's mandatory. It's card your shroud battle sensitive to the graveyard. Bunch of summon one level one fiend type monster from your deck. That is mandatory, okay? It does summon itself. It doesn't say except for staging security, so yep, and this is what he's gonna do. So I guess I'll go ahead and attack you. Is my effect optional or mandatory? You can special summon it. I don't want it, so I don't want it. I'm gonna get your effect. Like this man is just literally stolen out. Also, you need to pay your thousand. You didn't pay your thousand again. That's not optional. I apologize, people. I was trying to do them. This man is just finding a finding a way to stall out. Like I said, I'm playing way too much pressure. You know, even if you summon your fucking scar racist, I'm gonna call that card scar racist now because it says scar right, but in the anime it's called scar light, which makes so much more sense. But just like right, the L sounds like an R. Like you, you, you be racist. You be racist. You, you say, you say a scar right? No, a scar right. Yeah. You know, I, I disappoint you because, well, I'm being so racist in this episode. I make fun of Spanish and Mexicans, I make fun of Asians, damn. I'm not racist. I hate all races equally. I hate everybody, so. <laughs> you know? I hate everybody. Friends are just people that you hate the least. <laughs> Alright, so do you want to scoop it up? So tranche. It is fine. So. You are going to pay 3,000, summon three monsters, and then I'm going to turn to you. I'm going to take all tuners. One, two, three, so hopefully, say hopefully you have some kind of dark bribe or something. So is that it? GG? He's probably like, why are you monsters still on the field? I'm unaffected by traps. That includes my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. GG, get wrecked. Okay, I don't know what happened to this card. What happened to screen? If you're gonna use it, then go ahead and summon it. The only chance that you must either pay a thousand and destroy it, 
and special summon one level one tuner from the graveyard. Show you an infinity special summon that target. Red Dragon Ice Cream must be on the field to activate and resolve its effects. I don't know what happened to the screen. You can't just destroy it whenever you want, but whatever. Battle face. Maybe it's a tank game. Can't. GG Nori. That's it. GG. You got the shit smacked out of you. And I don't even know what the fuck with this is. You clearly don't have Red Dragon Archery in the field to resolve this. So you're pretty much like, oh, your opponent can't attack and I keep taking a thousand. Uh, I don't like this card. I think it's kind of dumb. I think it's really kind of dumb. I wouldn't play it. Even if I was playing some kind of Red Dragon Arts feed deck. Because I clearly see some Resonator. Stygian wasn't his card, though. That was, that was like, Kalan? Cal what was his name? Kalan? One with, one with Infernities, because isn't this... Wait, no. Infernities have Stygian and Street Patrol? No. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking that Infernities have Stygians because it's Stygian and Street Patrol to play in Infern Infernities. No. Who, had, who the fuck had Stygians? I have no idea. Let's take some police officer cards. I don't even know. I don't even know who had this fucking card, but of course the Resonator is definitely... If you control level 8 or higher, Sakamatsu, you can special special summon this card from your hand. Hmm. Then you can sync that 8 and this into Star Eater. Power. Yeah, I definitely have Dark Resonator. This is definitely, obviously, a Red Dragon Arch Fiend card, so. Like I said, I wasn't even afraid of Scar Right, because, you know, I could summon Scar Right and destroy these two. I'll take a thousand, but you can't get over this, you know, so. Alright, so, there we go. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and call that. Apologize for Sharp Silver, like I said, I, I got to. Oh, oh, more some, some more Spanish. All right, so uh, once again, you know, soy perano y como palomas. It says, "All right, what's up, y'all? It's I'm um, calling it a video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So make sure you hit that like button and uh, catch up on your Spanish. And then this one says, "Dulos." Oh. He's like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave before you fucking butcher my Spanish language and you ain't translating shit. Like, yo, 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 I took three years of high school Spanish. Do you know what that means? It means I don't know Spanish at all. <laughs> actually, it's not even three years. That's actually a lie. Two and a half. It was like, Spanish one, got this. Spanish two, got this. Got A's in both of class. Spanish three, let's do this thing. Oh, wait, we're gonna be speaking Spanish like 80% of the class? And I don't speak Spanish that well. Uh, uh, cheat off my person, the person that I shit you not. I shit you not. Story time with Dan. I shit you not. It was a miracle, and you guys won't believe this. By the time I'm taking Spanish three, I'm in junior year of high school. I just happened. The person that sat next to me just happened to be a girl that I knew from third fucking grade. <laughs> third fucking grade, who let me cheat off her shit. I shit you not. Before you ask. No. I asked her out in the third grade. Well, don't ask her out. I liked her in the third grade. Nothing happened. Like, nah, nah, nah. Rejected. Third grade. Met her again freshman year. Rejected. <laughs> Met her again junior year. Rejected. Like, how many times will get rejected by the same fucking girl? Hello? So, no. Nothing happened with that. So, and then, shit you not, the teacher, of course, knew I was cheating. That I didn't know a lick of fucking Spanish, but she didn't want to mess up my GPA. So... This is, she was actually nice enough to uh, to uh, give me a lot of extra credit and get me at least a B in the class. And then, of course, I transferred out because there's no fucking way. So, yeah. So, two and a half years by the end of the semester, you know. And then she became the dean of the school and she was replaced with the even harder Spanish teacher that didn't want no bullshit. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Uh-oh, more Spanish. Here we go. Estoy... Postando mi ultima. Oh hell no! <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> Is this even a word? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm done. I'm done. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm just, mm, I'm crazy. I haven't had my coffee yet. I don't even drink coffee. Hello. I haven't had breakfast yet. I haven't. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So of course we'll be back tomorrow with Supervise. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.